All right, so in today's video, we're learning about DPoS, which is Delegated Proof of Stake. So we've all learned about Proof of Stake in the previous video. Now, DPoS is not a step up of POS. It's like a mutation of POS. So it's essentially POS at, the, at a very basic fundamental level, but uh, with, with a twist, right? So it has its own timeline. It has its own life uh, completely parallel going on with uh, the Proof of Stake. So uh, it's not like the POS companies are going to adopt DPoS, it's not, that's not happening. What's happening is that DPoS, some blockchains are completely ado uh, adopting DPoS and some are sticking to POS, right? That's what's happening. Many people have this confusion. They think that oh, DPoS is like an improved version of POS. It's not the case. All right, so what happens here is you have the users on the blockchain which are, uh, which have, which are holding the currency of the blockchain, currency, coin, whatever you want to call it, and they stake their money in something called as a staking pool okay then there are these nodes and you don't have just like gentle nodes now you have delegate nodes who have the power to add blocks to the blockchain okay that's that's okay i mean uh, that's what we've had in the past also uh, but the twist here is that these users when they stake their coins in in a, in a staking pool they they can determine or they can define which uh, node are they betting on now betting is not the right word betting is a crude example that i'm just uh, you know telling you but they're kind of saying they're, they're staking the money on this guy they're saying that okay i want node one to win i want node one to be the guy who adds the block to the blockchain so uh, essentially these guys are deciding who gets to kind of win but there is a caveat that ev for every other transaction uh, you know every subsequent transaction and, and you know uh, like let's say for the fi next five transactions then the nodes will have to be different so it, you can't have the same node winning every single time so in the next transaction these guys might bet on this guy because they know that this node can't uh, add the block because he's already added the block to the blockchain anyhow so um, so there there is a security mechanism in the, in, the, in the blockchain i mean you can't just have one node becoming central right there, there's a element of decentralization here as well um, so the nodes get to add a block to the blockchain and then they make money the nodes make money after they've added the block to the blockchain because they get all of the transaction fees because each block will have hundreds of transactions or thousands of transactions depending on how the blockchain has been uh, designed and then all of the transactions for every single transaction on that block uh, will go to the node it's highly profitable highly profitable business in case you want to get into this you want to become a node uh, a delegate node especially in a dpos uh, blockchain highly profitable so what you'll do with the profits you'll you'll store some of them for yourself or you'll buy even more currency or you can use that cur like money to do anything else uh, and more importantly a big part of that profit you will divide it amongst the people who trusted you so there are some people who are trusting you every single time to uh, enable you or give you the power with these coins to become the to, to win the the transaction where you get to add blocks to the blockchain and what you want to do is you want to then divide those profits just keep some for yourself and divide those between all of these guys uh, the more profits you divide amongst these guys the more they'll trust you for the future <laughs> and they'll keep staking the money with you so everybody makes money in this kind of uh, an ecosystem i mean i really liked it when i when i heard about it first uh, a year or so back i really liked the whole concept and it seems to like uh, make money for these guys really uh, a lot of money for these guys so let me take you through some points okay so essentially it is pos so to be a delegate you need to have a lot of stake in the network so many people or like many companies that i know they are raising money from vcs to be able to buy stake or become a delegate in a dpos network okay so essentially pos uh, the users don't transfer the coins there's one confusion that people think that they have to transfer all these coins they don't they just stake the coins in a stake pool so each user stakes based on the amount of coins they have so you don't you don't have to like have hundred thousands of dollars to to be able to stake right you can stake as much money as you have it's it's completely all right the delegate makes money from the transaction fees after adding the block and the transaction fees are essentially gas fees paid by the users when completing any transaction on the chain now these transactions are either like buying nfts selling nfts you know transferring money to each other or simply computational tra transactions which uh, you know happen when you launch a smart contract and the smart contract the those functions run all of those things right so any anything is considered as a transaction on the chain uh, so the gas fees that are paid by the users are then uh, for all of the transactions they are in one block and that when, when that one block gets added then that delegate gets to make a lot of money like I mentioned and the proceeds from adding the blocks are kept by the delegate and a big part of it is also divided amongst the stakers. 
based on the percentage of coin stake. So this part is important based on the percentage of coin stake. What that means is, let's say you staked, this guy staked uh, about $10 and uh, this person, they staked about $5. Okay, once they stake this much money, uh, like $15 and let's say their delegate, he, he won and, and he was able to add the block to the blockchain. Now he, uh, this guy will get uh, money back from from this profit, right? He'll get the profit based on how much percentage he had put. So this was, let's say the total money was $100 that was earned. The profit was $100 that the, the node has decided that I will distribute $100 amongst all of my users. If this guy had given $10, then he'll get 10% of it like that. That is again, I think $10 back. So this number is wrong. I think it should be like $1,000 or something. And this guy will get then $100 back, which is 10% $100 back. Okay, because based on uh, the you know percentage, like total, let's say if all of the total percentage is 100%, right? So for, from $10,000, $10, if he'd invested, he'll get $100 back. So that's kind of clear, right? Uh, so based on how much you had invested, or how much you had staked, or uh, based on the percentage, uh, you this will be divided into those percentages be, uh, based on what you had staked. Okay, so that's that's how money is distributed, and um, yeah, so DPoS is simply democracy. So many people liken it to democracy uh, being used in the Web3 world, where few leaders are selected and they take the decisions. So in the sense, uh, in a democracy, what happens is there are the people, then they have a few representatives, and then they have a prime minister, all of those things, right? So similarly, you have here, you you uh, select a few leaders by staking your coin. So it's very interesting, right? It's basically democracy in the Web3 world, in the digital world. Uh, I mean, I really liked it when I first about heard about it, but democracy has its own problems. That's why we started the whole decentralization re revolution. So many people are also very critical about DPoS because they think uh, is DPoS essentially decentralization of power because you can because you know with block with Bitcoin you had all of the nodes had to work a lot right and and suddenly you have only few delegates and all of the users don't really have to do much you only have a few delegates who get to add the blocks so is it like recentralization of powers in the in the hands of the nodes uh, I'm not sure I mean I'm not an expert on that uh, maybe somebody. Uh, who is from an economic background, maybe he might be uh, the right person, but from a technology perspective, perspective I can tell you that uh, just having, uh, simulating a democracy in the Web3 world, uh, just that sounds really exciting to me. So uh, I'm all for DPoS, but from a from an economics perspective, from a from a political and policy making perspective, uh, all, all the guys who are in the you know decentralization movement, they might think that it's recentralization of power. Maybe we'll have to read a lot of uh, Reddit uh, subreddits to, to understand if it is essentially and we'll have to also everything is so early right now in web 3 that we'll have to wait for everything to pan out and see what actually happens nobody can really predict what's going to happen all right so this was it from my side dpos um, i hope you really liked it in the next video we will maybe talk about proof of burn or something like that but uh, i'm pretty sure you're liking this it's, it's, it's awesome stuff do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already you get all of this knowledge for free thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video